let's go ahead and jump right into the fourth book. Well, this is the fourth one. Let's go ahead and start reading it right now. I cannot wait. Oh, that cracked. <laughs> is everyone all right here? So I'm ready to read, right? I sit down on my bed. I posted the last video. I am already perfectly good. Sitting down, I open the book. And first thing I find out is that they changed the font. So it's little now. And I really thought I was reading fast. Apparently, I was not. Okay, guys. So I must admit that I have fallen for the very typical, very known as... I don't know if it has a name, but I'm just going to phrase it. Um, not wanting to read syndrome. It's just that I don't want to read because I don't want it to finish. I'm just like, I want to read. But I know the more I read, the less time I have. I know I look so stupid with this, with my glasses, but I gotta use them because they made the fonts so tiny and I, just, I need them. I need them to see. What was I gonna tell you about? Oh, um, the twins, uh, George and... I forgot, I forgot the other one, George, George, the Wesley twins, Wesley, Wesley, the Wesley, the Wesley, fuck, let me just look it up, Ron Weasley, the Weasley, that's weird, I thought it was Wesley, but I mean, it makes sense that it's Weasley, but it, it sounds weird, the Weasley twins, <laughs> are 16 which means that i am older by one year which means that i can have a crush on them and it won't be weird good morning you know what i'm still offended that they changed the fonts i look like i just cried by the way may i just say that um i've been reading harry potter for like 12 days in total. I haven't looked anything Harry Potter related up. When I bought the Harry Potter books was like one year ago and nothing appeared out of the ordinary but right now I'm getting like recommendations about and like ads about Harry Potter and like Harry Potter games and like Harry Potter um, videos on YouTube. So if someone ever tells me that Google ain't listening, bitch, that's weird. And it's seriously freaking me out because I genuinely, I haven't searched anything about Harry Potter. Like not even the only thing I've searched for, and that was yesterday night. And this has been happening for like five days already, is the pronunciation. I'm curious about like God existing in the like wizard. Because it, it says here, bless them. So, like, are they Christians too? Like, is that a thing? Even in the fucking wizard world? I can't escape it. I would be so proud if the cup thingy that they're doing Hermione won. Like, imagine. That would be amazing. Like, just, just a small town girl living in a muggle world. I don't know what it consists of yet but it's like a tournament and honestly i am team hermione i don't want harry to win i want hermione to win i know we've all known that i hate her but imagine if she won that would make me love her so let's see if that happens okay well 17 years or older well that's well forget everything that i said the Goblet of Fire just decided that Harry Potter should be in the tournament, which is honestly... I just wanted Hermione to have something special. Like, honestly. Because I just hate her, but I do want her to have character development. Harry Potter is in it for some reason, which I don't know yet. There's something fishy about it. 
maybe someone who wanted to kill him or something like Voldemort. I don't know. It doesn't sound very illegal. Like, I know he's not gonna die, but... I'm scared for him. He's a baby. He's 14. And these people are 17. Malfoy is one of the persons in this whole world that if he dies, I would literally cry of happiness. Okay, you know what? Cancel that one. Um, Snape, dear, dear Snape, what did they fit you when you were a baby? Shit? Did they actually give you poison? If Malfunction died, I would cry of happiness. But if fucking Snape died, I would make a seven day party. I would not stop for seven days. Why are we so mad at Ron? We can't, <laughs> we can't. I don't wanna be mad at Ron. This is so fucking sad, I don't wanna, Ron is amazing. We're not talking to Ron and See, this is this is J.K. Rowling does hate Hermione, and it's by the way she describes her from like Harry's point of view, but not really like Harry's point of view. It's like third person, but it's like Harry point of view, like kind of. You know what I mean, right? Anyways, um, Harry's just like shut up. <laughs> the narrator is just like not giving any justice to Hermione's case in my head. It's just like evident that. The narrator doesn't like Hermione when Harry isn't talking to John. Ron. I don't know where John came from, but Ron. That's my argument. I feel like that's why I hate her. I'm so scared for Harry. I think he's gonna die. Okay, the firebolt is here. It's not that bad. We can make it through. He's gonna do it. He's gonna make it. So Hermione is 14, and the guy who he invited like the guy who invited her to the ball who's crumb he's 18 right so that's four years of difference who let that happen like i'm pretty sure he's 18 but if he's 17 which i am pretty sure he's not still like it's not honestly that much but imagine a girl who's 14 with a guy who's sick 17 or 18 like, that doesn't look right in my head. That doesn't look right. Okay, so Harry's gonna take the bath to see what his egg means and shit. I never really thought about, like, when do they take showers? It's never been said before. It's, like, weird. I feel like I need a break to tell you guys where I'm standing at the moment with this book. I haven't blocked much because I have been reading, like... I haven't been doing a lot of reading at the same time, if you know what I mean. Up to this point, this book is very good. I think the Triwizard Tournament is, like, amazing idea. Um, it's being very, very interesting. Not like the last one, honestly. Hermione having, like, a thing with Crumb kind of cute but i cannot stop thinking of the age difference i mean at some point he had to come around fucking trevor that's sorry i just saw after we collided today that's not the point of this video so let's not get into that at all um Baltimore can honestly i don't hate him that much like, I, there hasn't been a lot of interaction with him. Obviously, he's, like, the worst thing. But, like, I don't hate him as much as Draco or as Snape. I just despise- I love Snape and Draco. I know Harry will be okay. I know the triumph is for him at the end of the day. When Cedric dies, but... You didn't really like him in the first place? If he didn't die, I swear to god, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Like, it just kills someone that's good for the first time. Like, somebody good that's, like, in the storyline constantly. Like, Cedric. No one has died! This is so sad. I just want Cedric to, like, be dead. I, I mean, like, it's time. 
This is me impersonating Voldemort as much as I can from what he is described in the book. Pretend this is my wand. Hello! That's very high pitched. You old traitors! Abra Kadabra Maman. How was it? How? Abra Karavana Karadura Karatara Trothra Tri. That's how I picture Voldemort. He isn't funny in my head, but his voice is. Like, you see him and he's like, the devil? He talks and is, oh my god! I'm sorry if I offended you with my Voldemort impression. It was Avada Kedavra. Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. I'm just reading it right now because Voldemort is about to kill Harry Potter, but also. Avada Kedavra. That was very close. I cannot believe it. Honestly, the way Harry got back, I was not expecting that. I do not believe my eyes right now. I don't believe what I'm reading. I don't... J.K. Rowling always has to do this, right? She can't ever, like, write a book and just, like let it be what it is she always has to come up with a plot twist that completely changes everything that you just read and you're like what the fuck you know what at this point i don't know why i was not expecting it i should have been expecting it like it's just a recap of everything that happened it's just guess what nothing is what it seems JK Rowling, I hate you. This is a five star again. By the way, someone told me that I was pronouncing Howard's wrong. Hogwarts? How it's that? I don't know, I just... I always heard Howard. This book was a different vibe from the first three books. The first three books is like, they leave you and you feel triumph. You feel good vibes. You feel like, yes, I'm happy. This book is not that, hey, Voldemort is back. So this is a problem. And I'm left just like, I'm not good. I'm not doing good. Anyways, I was saying, this book is not like adventure. Like, I mean, it is, but it's like uneasiness. <laughs> the whole book is just like, what is going to happen to Harry? I feel like the most important thing to say right now, aside from like all the things I filmed already, which are like my reactions to things that are happening, I just want to say that this book feels a little bit very much like not PG-13 as the other three did because someone actually dies in this book and you get to see that and you, that person is like not like Harry's um, mother and father but this person is like actually on the storyline constantly through the book and that is like much more impactful. This book I feel was like an upgrade from the adventurous and fun things that happen and like I don't know mysteries. It was way more dark and I feel like that makes it way more powerful. I feel the drama coming. And I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the first three books, but I feel like this is more dramatic. This is more of what, I'm, I don't know, intense. And that's something that I appreciate. Uh, so we have in number one, The Goblet of Fire, then The Chamber of Secrets, The Prisoner of Azkaban, and what was the first one? The Philosopher's Stone. I think that's my ranking, right? Um, I think. I hate Hermione. Goodbye.